In Good Shape, your weekly dose of health information on DWTV. Find out more about what's new in medical treatment, alternative medicine, as well as nutrition and beauty. Medical professionals, therapists, and counselors are in our studio every week to offer their expert advice on In Good Shape. An expert on diabetes is joining me today in the studio, Professor Joachim Spranger from the Charité University Hospital. Thank you very much for being here. Thanks for the invitation. Professor Spranger, there is a correlation between diabetes type 2 and the way we live, what we eat, how much we weigh. How exactly does that work? Well, the link actually between environment and type 2 diabetes, as we just heard, is overweight. And overweight, we learned more and more, is an excess of white fat, but it's not only a storage organ of triglycerides and fatty acids, for example, it's also a hormonally active organ. So it produces substances or proteins, um, which, for example, cause a subclinical inflammation. And that chronic inflammation finally impairs insulin sensitivity, and that increases glucose levels. So in that way, it produces and increases the risk of type 2 diabetes. So if you're overweight, you have problems with your insulin, the hormone that regulates the blood sugar. Yeah, you don't produce sufficient insulin to overcome the insulin resistance in the peripheral organs, such as, for example, the liver or the muscle. Mm -hmm. um, we've had a few viewers writing to us on that topic. For example, Hamza Baker from Rwanda, he'd like to know if you can avoid type 2 diabetes if you eliminate sugar from your diet. Yeah, that's interesting. It's unfortunately not that easy. There are many types of sugars and, for example, whole grain products even prevent diabetes, although also being sugar, a type of sugar. The white sugar certainly is a kind of problem, but there is no way, even if you avoid it completely, to prevent diabetes. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there's other forms of diabetes beyond the diabetes type 2, which is related to our lifestyle. Can you tell us briefly about these other forms? Yeah, diabetes is basically defined by high glucose levels in the blood. And there are numerous causes for that. One is type 1 diabetes, which is an autoimmune diabetes, um, type 2 diabetes we just told about. And then we have drug-related diabetes. If you, for example, take cortisone as a medication, you have an elevation of glucose levels. And finally, gestational diabetes is important. That's a diabetes type which occurs during pregnancy and is quite common also. And is also a risk factor for subsequent type 2 diabetes. Mm -hmm. So if you have it during pregnancy, you might develop some other diabetes later in life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, how important are genetic factors when it comes to diabetes? If you have someone with diabetes in your family, do you have to be worried? Well, genetic factors are important. We know, meanwhile, about 20 genes which increase the risk for type 2 diabetes, but clearly they are effective in combination with lifestyle factors. And that's really the more important issue. The genes explain about 5% of cases of type 2 diabetes, and the rest basically is um, affected by lifestyle and caused by lifestyle factors. Are there any warning signals that uh, warn you that you might have diabetes? Well, if you're overweight and you're more and more tired, which is quite unspecific, many people are tired, but that is one unspecific sign. If you're thirsty, if you, have often, uh, if you often have to go to the toilet, these are signs which you should control then and, and go to the doctor and control blood glucose. Dr. Spranger, from your experience in the clinic, how effective is exercise when it comes to diabetes, especially when you compare it to medication? Well, exercise is extremely effective. It lowers blood glucose that has been shown in numerous studies. And it's not only effective in patients who do have diabetes already, it's only also effective in preventing diabetes in people who are at risk. Mm -hmm. And in people who have diabetes already, does, does everyone who's got diabetes, regardless of what form they have, benefit from exercise? Well, the general answer may be yes, but uh, in some situations you need to be careful. For example, if you just had a myocardial infarction, you, sh you certainly should consider that and adapt your, your sport action uh, to your specific situation. But in general, the answer is yes, uh, in a careful way every kind of sport is, is effective. Mm -hmm. Well, beyond exercise, um, what kind of diet should people with diabetes stick to? 
Well, there is no specific diabetes diet. In, in overweight individuals, you simply have to reduce your calories. That's most important. And you should have a balanced diet. There are specific topics such as whole grain products, for example, which are beneficial. But you should have a balanced diet and it should not be too much. That's a, that's very simple, but that's the message. Mm -hmm. There are uh, products on the market specifically for people with diabetes. What's your view on those? They don't help. Very simple. So don't spend your money there. Exactly. Um, we've had a viewer writing to us, Ron B. Raha from the US, would like to know if diabetes is reversible, if you can cure it by changing your lifestyle. Well, at the very beginning, that eventually is possible. So if you reduce body weight and do more sports, that's in general possible and you can get rid of all your drugs and really reverse your diabetes. And you may say that's a cure of diabetes, yes. Mm -hmm. And... Um, if you've done everything you can in your lifestyle and you still you know, need medication, what, what happens there today? What kind of medication is there? There are numerous drugs on the market actually, which help to lower the blood glucose quite effectively. Unfortunately, we don't have strong data that those drugs also avoid diabetic complications such as myocardial infarction or stroke. And this is really the important issue. But still there are numerous drugs and also insulin, which you may inject uh, to lower the blood glucose and control diabetes. Mm -hmm. So to help with these complications like cardiac problems and so on, you should really exercise or what would you say is the way to avoid those? Well, you have to combine that. You have to, to um, improve your lifestyle, exercise, have a healthy food, but also use the drugs which are currently available. Mm -hmm. Many people might be scared of side effects. How is that? Sure, every drug has a side effect, but to be honest, that's also true, for example, for uh, weight reduction. You have specific situations, for example, people with heart failure, where uh, weight reduction may also be a problem. So this is true for lifestyle factors, but also for medication. Mm -hmm. There is one other option in the treatment of diabetes. There is a um, diabetes surgery, a gastric bypass that can be done. What's the effect and, and for whom do you recommend it? Uh, that's currently recommended for morbid obese individuals. So that's very heavy individuals and it's highly effective. The people lose about 30 to 40 kilogram and sometimes have a reversal or even cure of diabetes. So that's a very effective um, treatment, but it just works for a very specific subgroup of very heavy and, and very obese individuals. Mm -hmm. Okay, but all in all, there are many options to treat diabetes. Absolutely. Thank you very much for being our guest, Professor Spranger. Thanks. Thank you.